Hello everyone, welcome back to Altius playing Minecraft Stone Ooh, Stone Block. Ooh, my mushrooms are spreading. Whoa. See a doctor if you've been near me anytime recently. I've built this area. Uh there used to be a small amount of farm here. Now there is a large amount of farm here. Why? Uh because everything took forever to grow and I needed more of it. So now we've got a bunch of rice. Bunch of blah blah blah. I also planted a bunch of sugar canes because we did have sugar cane seed available to us. So there you go, that is available too. And then I used all of the bone meal, which used to be in there and now it used to be in here. Um, please, there we go. Uh, I, oh, there's more. Anyway, uh, I created a whole bunch of rice and rice seeds and etc. etc. Now we have enough rice to create um, uh, slime balls, which was a thing that we needed, except for the fact that one of the slime balls that we need is pink slime. Can't remember if I looked up in the previous episode when I discovered it, how to make it, but the way we're gonna to need to make it, I think I explained this. I'm gonna explain it again anyway. The way we need to make it is we go through industrial craft. I remember searching for these because I said you can't tell a sort of without laughter, right? Well, you can't spell laughter at all, so heck it. There we go. So there's a mob slaughter factory it requires plastic. This produces um, pink slime as a liquid, and then we can go and pick up the pink slime as a liquid turn it into pink slime as a bucket and then into pink slime as a item because you put a little pool of pink slime on the ground and it eventually turns into a pink slime dude and then you stab the pink slime dude wave wave smack smack and then that's the pink slime ball and you get the pink slime ball and then once you've got the pink slime ball we can make the material stonework factory the marital stonework factory and this will allow us to start crunching all of the stone that we're producing for free from that generator there turn it into cobblestone and then into dirt and then oh, cobble gravel dirt sand blah 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 this means that we're going to need way more than four drawers plus i hooked up i thought people might have thought of this already but i put the um this, this generator which was up there on the stack of generators which we keep getting for free i don't need any more thank you i put it on top of this just to give this some power so that we can get some obsidian going which means i can fix my hammer which means i can keep going uh, i promise you that i will not break out into the upper level of the world and go into the mining dimension without telling you first without doing it on camera and showing you so uh, i've just been repairing my pickaxe uh, my my hammer as we go along so now there are a few things that i would like to do for starters i said that we would uh need to get power from here and it's gonna need to go down here i feel like i'm walking very slowly because down here i know i made this stuff oh it scared me <laughs> I've forgotten that I actually had baddies down here. Uh, what? That's not what I meant to do. I don't have a sword. It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, is that a zombie? Yeah, zombie. Just zombie. I'm not doing any damage to this thing, so that can go back. Um, first of all, I should have a sword so that I can kill things uh, and get stuff from them. But secondly, instead of having spending, basically, instead of spending a crap load on lots of iron swords. Why don't we just go ahead and get straight to the slaughter factory? Let's do that. Uh, and the way we do that is with latex. Uh, as all good things in life, it starts with latex. But I am going to make a an iron sword anyway. By the way, I made a lot of uh, materials off camera. I made a lot of resources because I needed them. And it was a little bit boring to do it on camera. So I've been in the smeltery faffing around. Uh, I moved a few things out of the way. Here's the little bits and here's the big bits. And I also gathered a heck load of redstone. So now we have plenty of it. What was that? Something scary happened. Did something fall off my desk? Maybe something fell off my desk because I was making noises and then there was a noise outside. And now I'm scared. Please don't murderize me. Take anything you want. Just don't kill me. Because um, I'm recording. <laughs> It'd be rude, right? I've got people watching. Uh, we can now make plenty of um, energy conduits if we wanted to, which we do want to because we want to get energy from there to over there. So to start with, first of all, we should dig out some more of this space. We're going to do that off camera later. Uh, and therefore, there's a few things that I want to get into. First of all, is power, but also I want, as I said, I want to have a nice, a, I want loads of drawers, right? We're not doing this in an efficient way. We're not doing this in any magical way. We're going to do this the old fashioned way and just have crap ton of resources everywhere so this is a temporary drawers wall for sure um but i, I did a little bit of experimenting in my uh my uh my uh creative mode world 
and I think I, I know that I want this to be much bigger and I think I need it to be at least 20 in one direction probably about 40 in the other direction that's the sort of size I'm thinking plus depth as well this bit here would go way down into the ground and then there'd be sort of a gantry that seems cool and then when you come down here the uh, the size that I just mentioned is huge right it could go in that direction but I thought it might as well sort of go around the corner here right so we could have one big hall or maybe divide it up into multiple halls by having um fill in these walls again or, or sort of have these I mean these walls here could remain here and then we could have a sort of a, a room floating in the sky or like with a look at that could be pretty cool yeah let's do things like that so I'm gonna do all the digging off camera don't worry about that um but that means that I'm gonna put things down so you can see what they look like and then uh, I'm going to move them somewhere else so we can see where they move to later. But one of the things we're going to want to do is get all this wood automatically being shoved in front of the tree fluid extractor. So let's have a look at that. This is where we're going to start today, apart from the six minutes of waffling that I've already been doing. This is easy, which is great because we need several of them. This is real stone. This is iron gears, which is stone gears. So I th we need four of these, right? Four. Do I have iron blocks? This has got to be iron, right? Uh, and then we might need some more real stuff. I think we'll be okay. Because um, we're going to need four furnaces. Do I need these furnaces? I'm going to say no. Give me this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Because another thing we're going to get from power is the ability to furnace a lot more things. So we'll make two more furnaces. Einsfei. And then we'll empty that. And then we will make two of the, four of these. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And then, I don't know if I need to clear that grid, actually. So four of those. Right, we need to turn this into iron before we can do that. Four of these pearlies. And then we should be able to make... Oh, we need redstone. Like I said, I've got plenty of redstone. So if we run out of redstone in this episode, that's fine. I'm just going to go and watch more Kimmy Schmidt and, uh, you know, <laughs> do all that off camera again. It's perfectly cromulent, by the way, to, uh, first of all, watch Kimmy Schmidt. Because, heck you, I do... I I won't do what you tell me. Um, where is my wrench? I might need to rotate that. Little bit. It counts as a wrench. Can I do this? Yes. So this is how you do this. You point four tree fluid extractors at the ground. Well, a, a block. And then you get some actual wood. <laughs> which you forgot. And you put it on the ground in front of the tree fluid extractors. And you start getting latex. Plunk. So here's your tank. 14, see, it doesn't need power. It's great. So here's a fluid container. So you can put things into it, uh, like a bucket, and then that will fill up the bucket, and then that will come out of there. I didn't realize there was an annoying line there. Never mind. Um, and then actually latex. So you can pump into or out of the latex tank, or you can fill up containers, and this will slowly break the wood, right? So we need something that will continually replace that piece of wood, which I don't have yet. Let's see if there is a thing. Placer. Placer. There is a... Phantom place. So there is an auto placer from Actually Editions, which requires cobblestone of any type, a palace crystal, basic coil, which is black quartz and redstone new crystal. This is getting too complicated. What else have we got? Block placer from Cyclic. A dispenser. That's easy. So we can get a block placer to replace these. But I'll just show you the principle for now. Uh, with four of them, by the way, it's going to go much faster than with one of them, which is why I did four of them. But then with latex... Uh, with liquid latex, I believe you put it into a... Uh, I wouldn't use this, please. A fluid transposer? No, no, no. Ah. There's a probably a latex... Wait, what did I do here? This is what I want. Latex processing unit, which takes latex. I think we learned this last time as well. This set doesn't seem to have a proper inter uh, integration with JEI. So we have a little bit of an issue there, wherein there is not any... Oh, steel case. Uh, so it doesn't show you. No, we don't. We've got any steel. No. That's okay. We we at least know we can make steel now. Um, later. So let's have a look at this. There we go. This is this. This is four pieces of steel, one piece of osmium and some glass. We've made this before. Uh, how? Forget. We should probably make some of these things as well, by the way, because an induction smelter is going to be sand and something else steel blend from there coal and pulverized coal and iron ingot in an induction smelter will just get a steel without having to go the silly way around which is where we made use of this stone hammer 
to turn um quote unquote cobblestone to turn charcoal and stone into it doesn't actually turn it directly into steel ingots actually so maybe we just do that uh, i i thought that it turned it into um steel dust and then you have to mush around with it so we'll get some charcoal on the go the other thing I want to do is sort of dump a lot of that wood into a, a constant generator, a furnace generating charcoal for me, because as you can see, I have no charcoal right now, which is part and parcel of what we're trying to get on with here. So you can go in there. Um, let's have a look at what it takes to make an induction smelter. Induction, induction, because I can put these things down and then move them later. Uh, sorry, smelter. Hello. I'm sure I typed induction and did not find... Wait, what? Ah, I pointed at this and went, what? An elite machine frame? No, you can you can use an elite machine frame. Invar gear, easy. Copper gear, easy. Redstone, easy. Machine frame, iron and tin and glass. Also easy. We should make one, but for now, I, we have enough charcoal, so let's just make steel the old-fashioned way. Uh, steel, uh, let's do this instead, and then this, and then... There we go. It's only two steel ingot. We do need more of that. How much? Four, five. One more, and we're done. Could speed this up, but I'm not going to. There we go. Uh, let's do this again. Where are my uses of that? And then that, and then that, and then that. Okay, four steel ingot. And it doesn't use any. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. It doesn't use any durability on that hammer. So we want a latex processing unit. Uh, careful. There we go. Which is one steel casing, which is glass and osmium. Osmium. One of those. And now I need glass. <laughs> I'm not really prepared. Why not? Never you mind. Some glass. Hmm. This is another sort of thing that we really want to get. Because if we had um, all this full of stuff, thanks to automated processing, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, that's gone already. Um, we would just not... We would just chuck stuff in. So let's uh, turn some... Fine. Let's collapse this into that. Do I still? Yeah, I do still, but this isn't going to last much longer either. So this is how we do this. We hold the button down and that breaks. No, it didn't break. Interesting. Where's my gravel? There you are. <laughs> I wonder how long this will last. Dirt. <laughs> One more, please. I only need a bit of sand, so that's okay. But don't break. Oh, you broke. Fine. Nine sand will do. Get in there and give me that. This wood can go back in here for now. I don't care about it. Uh, so we might as well use this cobblestone and the sticks to make some more hammers because we might as well break those pits of wood. Uh, compressed hammer is nine of these. Nine of these. So if you just spin this so that it says nine, and then you'll get nine. Right? And then you can do that. Do that, and then you can break the rest of these. Might as well turn it onto the glass is what I'm thinking. There's the glass that we need. Here's the osmium that we need. I'm going to take it all. Right, where were we? We were making a latex processing unit. This is probably going to take power, by the way. So we can make steel casing. Ta-da! We can make a iron gear out of a oops, mm -hmm, out of a stone gear. Some iron, yep, got iron. Do, do, do. There we go. We can make two stone furnaces. One, two. Thank you. Can we make this now? Yes. So we now have a. Oh, we do have to clear it. Fine. Be like that. Hello. Iron gear. Oh, going all funky. I see. It's getting confused. Hang on. There we go. Just uh, exit the crafting there, bring it back in, and we are good. So the latex processing unit, which I'm going to put right here, does need power, but that's okay because now I can show you about the leadstone energy conduits that I was going to deal with in the previous episode, which is going to be uh, leadstone energy, leadstone plug ducts, that right. Uh, these, well, I'll show you, transfers a thousand RF a tick maximum uh, per connection. So if you had two. Uh, well, it says per connection, but I don't know if that... I think that's literally per connection, i.e. 
um, if you have multiple connections to the same block, even though the line was made of them, the line is not restricted. It's the connection that's restricted. Where's my lead? There you are. Who knows what lead? The thing is about metal is they're all the same color. Uh, leads, e leadstone, leadstone. We should be able to make a few of these. Let's uh, press Shift Plus and see how many we get. I will make 24. That seems fair. It uses a whole of our redstone, but we have another stack. That was the wrong chest, but you'll believe me. I'm sure. Let's put this here. This will uh, export a maximum of 1,000 RF per tick. But if we did another one, that would presumably be a maximum of 2,000 RF per tick. And then the rest of this line doesn't have any uh, issues. Uh, let's not waste them. Let's be a little bit more conservative with this. Because I've shown you what I'm doing. The whole point of this is that I can do it. And then off camera, I will rearrange everything so that you don't have too much of an aneurysm trying to figure it all out. So there we now have, this is being drained of lava, which means it's now using our lava, which means this is being emptied, which means this is being emptied. Slowly but surely, are you going to be emptied? I think this might use a bucket and then drag some more in, right? So at some point that will continue to go. Anyway, uh, you are full. So now we need to grab the liquid out of there with a fluid dose. We might as well use the hardened ones. Um, I don't know if there's any reason not to. Except that... Um, oops. They were a little bit more expensive and I don't need to. So I might want to sort of um, recover these at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use it as a demonstration. I don't need this. I do need this. Okay, so then we want these to output. I don't think they're going to. So we need some more servos, which we've seen before. I don't think they need to be difficult. So let's, uh, let's have another look at how those are made. Servo. Serv I don't know why I want to press a T. I don't. I'm just going to make a, a simple... Uh, iron... Redstone invar versus iron, redstone, more iron. Invar is easy, it's electrum that's hard, so. Let's go and see if we can make those, shall we? Invar. Invar. There's some. Yeah, we've already got invar, so who cares? So, uh, servo. Should have some iron nugs, maybe? Yes, but we need to make some more. That's fine. Then we can do this with a bit of redstone. servo. We want four of these, actually. What is our malfunction? Glass. Four of these, please. That's exactly what we needed. Thank you. So we'll go and put these on each of these, and we've seen how these work. You whack them on. Bonk, 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 and indeed, bonk. Hopefully this will work. You just set it to uh, redstone ignored. And this should start filling up with liquid latex, which will... Oh, it needs water as well. We can do that. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that in a second. So we'll get all of our latex out of here. And there's one here. Ignored. Um, I'll do the wood thing in a minute. This is just a demonstration of the principle of the thing. Uh, so we can continue to use these. Is that all our flux stuff? Yes. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, I meant fluid ducts, but it still is all of them. Maybe this should be closer. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It might do, actually. Let's pick these up. Pick this up. Ah, that's not where it's supposed to be. I think we can do this. Yeah. Sometimes machines, uh, if you break them with the pickaxe, will just completely break. <laughs> and you might be able to get them back. So, um, I'm not sure if this is actually going to make a difference because of mathematics, but we will see. I don't want to fill it with lava if you can avoid it. So we would like this to be over here. No, it's not going to fit because of reasons. And we still need to extract from there. Let's make some more fluid ducts. What do these require? Fluid duct. I mean, they don't have to be the hardened ones, so we could just make these cheap ones, which is copper and glass. Let's make a whole bunch of those cheat ones and then we can just replace it all. I was hoping not to have to, but since we're here... Is that all the copper we've got? 
Well, how much does this make us? 24 hours. More than enough. So let's pick these up again. Let's try not to bother doing that just because for the sake of demonstration, there's no point. But here we go. We are where we are. We might as well take all of these back because we need them for lava. And then um, replace it with all this. This can carry water without complaining, which is greatly exactly what we want. Also, I should do this um, and will do once I've got the wood being placed man oh, I can still place the wood manually for now. Let's get our wood back. It broke faster than I expected, to be honest. Uh, this, please. I need 11 of them. Probably put the fluid that's back now because we're going to put the... There we go. We're going to put the servos on here. Oh, we need that one back over there as well. You go on here. And you are ignored. Click, click, ignored. Click, click, ignored. This wasn't correct. <laughs> what have you done? Stop this. Fill it with water by accident. Oh, plunker. Put these back. This should be down here. Like this. There we go. Click, click, ignored. Wow, it keeps doing this thing. I thought it was just my uh, laptop, but every now and then it gets confused by whether I've moved the UI or the um, the mass itself. So this should now have water and latex, and now it just needs to be plugged in because I removed this. Hello? That is not where it should be. Let's remove this for now. Again, I'm going to move all this, so it doesn't really matter for now what's happening. So this should be creating tiny dry rubber. The use of tiny dry rubber turns into dry rubber. The use of dry rubber, plastic. So this is our way forward to getting plastic, which means we can start making our material stonework factory. This has taken a large proportion of this episode, even though it wasn't supposed to, but at least we're getting somewhere. It's all progress in the end of the day. It's all in the name of progress. Or progress. Or Steve. I'm not Steve. I am. I am myself. Hello. You know that from this. Uh, good. So, we should get the uh, placer made, which is this one, which is a dispenser, which is redstone. This is easy. So, let's do that now. We've got some sticks in here. I already had some sticks. Might as well put those back. We will get some string from here. Bye. This should be enough. Have we got enough cobblestone? Probably. Uh, we've got the redstone, so let's get this done. We've got one dispenser. Why is it a bow or a single piece of string? That seems expensive. Here's our block placer. Now, the question is, can we make this face the right way? Yes. So that's what we're going to do. This wood has now gone, so that's great. The thing, of course, which you may be uh, expecting to happen here is that we will run out of wood in here. There we go. Thank you for being aesthetically displeasing. Uh, and also it's a little bit difficult to get to because now it's going to be majority of the time covered in wood. But if we just take most of this... I'm going to break this wood oh, by hand, excuse me. I wonder if you can do this. What happens to half-broken wood? Oh, heck it. Let me in. <laughs> I forgot that those are going to be immediately replaced by more stuff. Um, what if you just broke the wood after an amount of time before it got broken by all of these and just put it back? You could do this entire thing on one piece of wood, right? Unless by a certain... I mean, I could break it now. I could let it extract some, break it now, and I've already got 26 dry rubber, which means we can start making... Uh, uh, oh, was it was it nine? Yeah, it's nine. That's a, that's a few, but not the worst thing in the world. So now we've got some plastic. When I do this, and also yeah, this, this is a problem, of course. That this is an inefficient system. But this furnace, when it's finished, we might as well put it over here. So this is a little bit cramped. I, I recognise this. This shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be here. Uh, all of this can get moved, basically. 
I need to craft off camera a whole bunch more of these conduits, etc. And then we can go uh, and plonk the mob grinder thingy, the, the mob killer. Now, you see, I think the thing about the mob slaughterhouse factory is that it doesn't drop items, right? Whereas the... Uh, I forgot what it's called, but if you have a look at four going... There is one of them which looks a little bit more vicious. There's a block breaker. The mob crusher drops things. So we have a choice. We don't really have a choice. I'm going to pretend like we have a choice and then pull it back so that we don't have a choice anymore. Um, we could either make the mob slaughterhouse, the mob laughter house, uh, and get pink slime. Another steel casing. You're killing me. Or we can make the mob crusher and get the mob drops. So which one do we want? Well, we do want the mob drops because we're going to be very heavily dependent on um, ender pearls at some point in the very near future, I have no doubt. We don't have that dependency yet, although I guess we have that dependency whenever we choose to accept that dependency. Um, but oh, let's put that hoe over here. We can have two mob farms. <laughs> what? There's no. It's a. It's a false dilemma. It's not real. That's what false means. Because we can at any point just build another dark box and then mobs will spawn in that one as well. So I'm probably going to do that. So off camera, in between this episode and next, whilst watching the Unbreakable Kimmy Smith, which is not to be called the Unbearable Kimmy Smith, however you feel about it, it's a, a wonderful show with. Uh, a whole cast of queer friendly characters and we will come back with possibly a slightly bigger room it's not going to be much bigger again i would like this entryway to be first of all not filled up by this loser thing and then just big right uh but until then i have nothing else to offer you so i'm going to call this a 27 minute episode aren't you relieved thank you for watching hope you're learning something because i certainly am all the time and i will see you next time.